Hello, I am Darth Ed. Welcome back to Digimon. Cyber Sleuth. Finally move the story a bit forward, shall we? This is the case from the Broadway management. There are strange rumors in Broadway. Solve them with these guys. Time to work with the occult club. Hey! Hey there, mate. You're early today. Of course. When we heard you had something intriguing to share with the club, how could we not rush, o rush on over? May I calm down? You are sound a little eager. You sound a little eager. Sorry, detective. She's just a little worked up. That's May for you, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And I see it's all the same game from our Shibuya Hirasaka experiment earlier as well. <laughs> Color me impressed to see you all still part of the occult club. Takes guts to stay around after what happened in Shibuya. Haha. <laughs> well. Where'd the well come from? Jesus. That's all on May. After the experiment, she really started devoting herself to running the club. She's practically on fire. Yep. I had all to you. <coughs> I owe it to you all now that I know there really are strange mysteries like that lurking around in the world. Just don't say I didn't warn you if you get caught up in something serious one of these days. Oh, I'm doing this research precisely to prevent that from happening. You have to know what you're up against to survive. Everyone knows that. Anyway, I'm sorry to call you all call you all out here when you're so busy as is as it is. No, it's perfectly perfectly fine. God damn, dude. I promise. When we hear the occult is afoot somewhere, we can't help but come running as fast as we can. That's our job as the Inodin Occult Cl Research Club. Heh, <laughs> well I appreciate your vigor. Still, that being said, Tokyo has more than has more than its fair share of occult phenomenon going on these days. So why bother coming over to our neck of the woods? Um, well, when you put it like that, isn't it obvious? Nakano is leagues apart from anything else you could call an occult mecca around here. Exactly! I couldn't have put it better myself, Kenji. That's just what I'd hoped for out of the Vice President. <laughs> oh May. Yeesh, Kenji. You're not exactly doing us any favors getting, all, getting her all hyped up even more, you know? Well, what I said is still true. All sorts of weird, unusual things go down here in Nakano. I mean, there's the bleeding mural, mural that's said to have blood gushing out of the mouths and eyes in the lobby on the first floor. The lobby on the first floor lobby? Yeah, okay. For starters. Then there's the skeleton pool, home to a pile of abandoned corpses that turn to bones overnight. Rumor has it that late at night there are people clad in white flying over the roof while holding a hidden sabbat. Sabbat. And then you've also got the mysterious fish rains that have poured down over the account over ages, foretelling imminent misfortune. All of those things remain unsolved, so naturally, funny you should mention those specifically because I actually solved them all already. What? You did? <laughs> you already solved them? What's this already talk? This is my home base, and as a detective, if you tell me something weird is up, of course I'm going to look around. It's all long in the past. No. <laughs> Why the long face? I didn't say this case wouldn't be up your alley. That's for your reward this time around. <coughs> How about I give you guys my file with all the so-called supernatural cases I've worked on? Well then, of course we'll do it. Tell us more. That's the spirit. I fully intend to make use of your club's unique expertise for today's case. As we already... As we've already discussed, Tokyo has become a real hotbed for the supernatural, and it goes without saying that Nakano is no exception. The reports and complaints I've been getting from other attendants don't look to be letting up anytime soon, and so they asked me to solve them. But even with my assistant on board, there are just too many for us to handle by ourselves. There are essentially four different odd phenomena going around, going on around here that I want you guys to solve with your passion and young sensibility. Or oddities. Okay, go on. <coughs> First, I want to figure out what's behind Three-Legged Matthew, who wanders around these parts in search of something. 
Then I want you to look into the Katakata, who roams the floors of the Kano Broadway. After that, go look into the Reaper Elevator, which ascends from the basement up to the fourth floor at 2 a.m. At last, but certainly not least, see what you can find about Master Tip Tap, the spirit. Ooh, these all sound great. This is going to be lots of fun to work on. Well, I've given these legends their names based on eyewitness, eyewitness accounts. I've heard. Now it's on you guys to solve the kind of urban legends, alright? What do you say? Will you go for it? Okay, this is so exciting I can't wait to get started. Everybody, we're heading to K Cafe to formulate our plan on the double. May, wait up! Those two sure can't contain themselves. Well, we better indulge them and head on over. It's not like we have much of a choice. Don't think you can. <laughs> don't think you get to take it easy now. You're joining up with him too. Uh, this might be a bit awkward to ask, but I've noticed your assistant kind of just zones out sometimes. Is everything all right? Nothing too severe right now, but I can tell things are starting to get unstable with Takumi's body. Control over his data is slipping. Really, Takumi seems to have even forgotten what's happened here. Here or there? I wasn't fully paying attention. Well, now that we're all here, in t here into the night, our time has finally come to spring into action. Since we're here, we might as well start on the first floor. We're going through every floor and checking whether these strange things are actually taking place, right? Right. Since the reports of the three-legged Matthew seem to center around this floor, we'll start with that for now. We go from there. <laughs> Alright, then let's get to work. <laughs> Stop asking about cotton candy. Figured out a little... Of the three legged messy backstory, so get this 30 years ago, there was this popular Anita doll whose clothes you could swap out. Matthew was another doll who was her ex boyfriend. <laughs> Originally, he was described as being her fiance, but another male doll that showed up later, Lance, a diplomat, became popular. At some point, Lance and Anita got hitched, and Matthew was relegated to the ex boyfriend position. Cool. Uh, there's an epilogue to the story. After he lost Anita to Lance, Matthew went insane and attacked Lance, chopping his body up and sending the pieces to Anita. But things didn't go entirely, entirely according to plan when he tried to send the final piece to her, a single leg. Because as it turned out, Anita was putting Lance's body back together using forbidden dark magic. What Matthew did in response was attach that final leg to his own body, ostensibly in an effort to ensure Lance could never be revived. Ever since, he's apparently been walking around with much difficulty on his three legs roaming around here and there. Forever searching for memories of the good old days he and Anita once had. This is a story about dolls, right? You know, I think Manaka and Kenji make a cute pair, don't you? Oh, but don't tell them I said that, okay? Fascinating. The kind of brought in it feels really creepy. I mean, during the day, there are some floors I don't like visiting. But this is something else. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. Alright, then on to the second floor. Now to turn our attention to Katakata. Well, time's wasting. Off we go. Excited laughter. From what I can tell, Katakata is derived from the famous Teki Teki legend. Tiki Tiki. Tiki Tiki is an apparition who lost her feet in a train accident. She can travel up to 150 kilometers per hour with just her arms, laughing as she pursues people. Kata Kata is therefore an altered form that Tiki Tiki came from to adopt for many years. The name Tiki Tiki supposedly comes from the sound she makes when she moves with her arms. So where does Kata Kata from, come from? I don't think anybody can go up. I don't think anybody up against the spirit that could go 150 kilometers per hour would have any hope of escaping. If you bump into it, game over. Hehe. <laughs> Not against such a fraidy cat, but she still loves it when Kenji talks about occult stories all passionately and stuff. <sighs> Nothing to report here. Yep. Let's make our way up to the third floor. 
we'll run up. What do we run up? God damn it. What we'll run into up here, I wonder. Only one way to find out. Let's split up and get to work, everyone. Ugh. You seem totally bored, Lily. You're just spouting weird stuff now. Hey, Manaka. How are things going with you and Kenji? How far have you two progressed? Tell me, tell me. What better time is there to talk about love than in the middle of the night? Do, 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 do. If you happen to meet Kanaka, she'll ask, need your legs? And if you don't give her the right response, she'll run off with yours. What's the right response? It's, I'm using them right now. She's surprisingly cooperative, it turns out. <laughs> Oh hey, I think I figured out why she's called Katakata. Katakata originally lost her legs after falling onto train tracks in Hokkaido. So maybe her name comes from the sound teeth make when chattering. Chattering. Why isn't there anything special happening tonight? We've got one more floor, floor to go. Surely there's something to find up on the fourth floor. Come on, let's head for the elevator. Alright, come to us, O oh Reaper elevator. Make thyself known before us. It's past 2 a.m. now. Why? Why isn't anything showing up? I called out to it and everything, but there's no sign of it appearing at all. This sucks! I hate it! I just want to, want to see the Grim Reaper at least once in my lifetime. Is that too much to ask? I mean, once is technically all you get out of the Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. <laughs> May, it's okay. There's still hope. Just keep it together. Well, I never took her to be the type to throw a tantrum when things go poorly. May, we're getting worried about you. Why don't we take a little break at K Cafe? When we meet up, well, <coughs> when we met up earlier yesterday afternoon, the owner said it was fine to use as a break room. It shouldn't be locked. She's not going to listen to reason. I'm in favor of it. I'm beat. I can use a rest after all that investigating. We can't. There's still the Katsu Katsu to check. We have to check everything again, top to bottom. There has to be something here. I just know it. Alright, we get it. Let's just go inside K-Cafe for a bit so we can reassess the situation. Sound good to you? There's nothing here. No ghosts, no spirits, nothing. Nothing! I'll cheer up. Since when does the good stuff ever happen on the first day you do this sort of work? Ugh. I just want to see Matthew, Katakana, the Reaper elevator, and Master Tip Tap. It's okay. It's okay, May, really. I'm sure something will come along soon. Really? You sure? Yeah. Huh? What's wrong? Don't you guys hear it? You're right. Is that the elevator? Maybe it's Koyoko. But she's not the only resident here. Who could be? Who could it be? Wait, leave it the cop. The sound just now. Did the elevator just arrived on this floor? It must have. It's the Reaper elevator. It came. I knew it was real all along. Tip tap. Tip tap. <laughs> I'll be filming a drink in between parts. Oh my god, that sound. Is that Master Tip Tap? But now it's a different sound. Don't tell me it's. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Wait, was that somebody's voice? What's going on? What are you kids doing here? We could ask the same question. Why are you here so late? Late? Missy, it's morning already. I always come hidden here to relax around this time. Huh, but it's not even four yet. Well, actually, it makes sense. My grandpa tends to get up really early, too. Oh, I get it now. That's why the cake cafe owner had this place unlocked. And so this guy can use it. Hey, Scooby, what's wrong? Huh? Wait, am I seeing what I think I am? Is that a third leg? Wait, what are you blatting about now? Those dentures! Are they making that chattering noise because they are misaligned? You also came from that elevator, which would make you the Reaper. Hey, who are you calling a Reaper? The tapping sound. <laughs> the tapping sound must have come from. No! You tell me that this old guy is the one behind all the all the logo urban legends here? You have to be. You have to be kidding. Oh. May's mournful cries could be heard all throughout the building that night.
So it looks like you guys came through and solved all the mysteries. I couldn't have asked for a better end result from what you found out. What's so good about it? It was all just because the old, that old guy takes early morning walks. Perhaps, but as they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Get real here. Who could have ever seen any of this coming? Uh huh. Let me ask you something. While you were out, while you were out running around solving mysteries, what were you picturing inside your head? Did you see things in pitch dark? Did you hear things in deafening silence? Personally, in my opinion, I say such strong human imagination are key to engaging in supernatural research. Hmm. I feel like I kind of get it, but I don't at the same time. <laughs> Those are just my own thoughts on the matter. Don't read too deeply into them. Hopefully having re <clears throat> Hopefully having reached the conclusion that you guys have, it's given you some things to think about individually. Guys, please. Now, as promised, I believe I have my files to hand off as your reward. Those won't be necessary. <clears throat> we'll solve those other mysteries ourselves through our own efforts. Our own efforts and our boundless passionate imagination. Uh huh, that's a fantastic attitude to have. Wow, Kenny, that's actually kind of cool of you to say that. Perhaps I was out of line then. If you insist that much, then I won't worry about it. Oh no, we'll still gladly take him off your hands, Detective. What do you say, mate? Haven't you been paying any attention to what's going on? So, you mean to tell me you're not even a li uh, little interested in what's inside those files? Really, even out here? Um, well, maybe just a little. If you aren't, then I'll just go ahead and read them by myself. Hey, that's no fair. Man, and here I was thinking I was acting cool for once, too. Oh, Kenji, you did great. Don't let this get you down. Just try harder next time. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take off now. Catch you later. Looks like it's just the two of us again, Takumi. <laughs> I didn't expect them to run off with only one of my files. Either way, we can now report back to the other tenants that those issues have been taken care of. Hopefully that will improve our standing a little. Those occult club kids are something, though. They're growing up so fast. Maybe one of these days they'll start to be friendly rivals or that'll be fun, right? What makes me drag my old bones out of here every morning, I wonder. This place feels real nostalgic for me to me for some reason. I can't pinpoint the reason why. What the It's always interesting how mysteries often lead and tie into one another. But I digress. Great work as always. Get ready for another case soon. Well, I'm gonna end this part, and I badly need a drink. My voice is going. You, <laughs> you probably hear it. <coughs> Jesus. Alright. Thanks for watching. Check back later for your next video. Bye.